everyone. It's Miss Fox, the drama teacher at Plummer Elementary. And today we are going to be doing a little bit of an art project to help with telling the story of the mitten. The mitten is a story that you can read in a book. There's a few different versions of it. And we are going to do a little art activity that will help us retell the story by giving us some reminders. So we're gonna start by drawing a mitten on a piece of paper. What you'll need for this is a blank piece of paper and a marker, hopefully a marker in a color that you really like. You can also use a crayon or a color pencil. So I'm gonna use a purple marker, because I like purple. And I'm gonna show you my paper so you can go along with me. We're gonna start by placing the paper all the way on the table in front of us so it has something to rest on. Then I'm gonna place my right hand on the side of the paper, not in the middle. We want it to be all the way off to the side and you'll see why later. I'm gonna take the cap off my marker. I'm gonna put my hand on the paper, not off the paper, not even a little bit off the paper. You want it all the way on the paper and you want, not your, you want your palm to be on the paper too, but you don't need your wrist. So you can see I've got my hand on the paper and my fingers, my four fingers are touching. My thumb is off to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and trace around. You don't have to touch the thumb or the fingers. If I remove my hand, you can see I've got this nice little mitten on my paper. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my other hand. Most of us have a dominant hand, so this one's gonna be a little hard for me because I'm a lefty. But I'm gonna put my hand on paper again and I'm gonna trace using the other one. This is a great opportunity to work with a friend and have them trace your hand if you have a dominant drawing hand. But I don't have anyone here with me, so I'm gonna draw it myself and do my best. And I lift up my hand and now I have two mittens on my page. And this is where it gets a little bit fun. So you're gonna start by coloring in your two mittens however you would like. So you can pick any color you'd like. Usually mittens have a base on them so you can draw a little line on the bottom. And if a, knitten, if a, if a mitten is knit, you might find that the bottom has these kinds of straight lines on them where the yarn has been knit to be closer together. But you can draw it however you want and then go ahead and color in your mittens. So pause here and color in your mittens. Now after you've paused coloring it in, you're going to fold it in half so that you have your two mittens are now facing each other, kind of like it's one mitten. So I can see my mitten here, you can see my mitten here. It's almost like it's the same mitten. And if I open up my paper, we can see all of the animals, we're gonna draw all of the animals that we imagine might be inside the mitten, just like in the story. In the story, the mitten gets dropped in the woods and lots of animals see it and it looks so cozy that they decide to crawl inside the mitten and get warm in there. So now you get to open up your paper and on the other side, practice drawing some animals that you might imagine would come into your mitten. So I'm gonna show you a few examples. You can draw them with me or you can draw your own. So the first one was in the story. We're gonna draw a little rabbit. So I'm gonna start by drawing a circle for my rabbit's head. And then I'm gonna draw two ovals that come out of that circle. And then you can draw little ovals inside them because rabbits have those little inner parts of their ears. They're usually a different color. And then we can draw its eyes and its little upside down triangle nose. And if you want, you can even draw these half circles coming down out of the bottom and some whiskers. Mm, nice little rabbit over here. And you can just draw the head if you want, or you can draw a line coming down, a straight line coming down, 
maybe show us its little paw in the front and a line coming up and then a half circle in back. The paw is gonna come forward here and then connect it all together. Draw a line under the bottom of your rabbit and then give it a nice bushy tail. So now we've got a rabbit inside of our mitten. And we'll draw one more thing in this mitten. Now in the story, there were all kinds of wood animals that lived in the mitten, but I think I'm going to draw a, um, I'm gonna draw a penguin in the mitten because I like penguins. To draw a penguin, you're going to start by drawing a oval with a flat bottom. I'm gonna make my nice big oval with a flat bottom. So I'm gonna connect it on the bottom. Then I'm going to draw his little wings coming out from either side, which are kind of like the opposite of this. They're upside down versions of this oval coming from the sides. Now I'm gonna draw two eyes up towards the top that are both full ovals. Now I'm gonna draw his feet. They're like three triangles. And because penguins have webbed feet, you can connect them on the bottom if you like. Now we're going to draw a beak, which is just a triangle. Now I'm going to fill in his eyes by drawing little circles inside of the ovals. And finally, I'm gonna draw one more of this same oval shape with a flat bottom coming from either side of his beak. he looks a lot more like a penguin. And since I'm using a black colored pencil, I can color in his wings and his upper body with my black colored pencil. And I can use my orange colored pencil to color in his beak. And maybe also his feet. And there's my penguin. I can close up my drawing and use this as a reminder so that as I'm telling the story to someone else and I open up the mitten, I'll remember or imagine all of the animals inside the mitten. So for example, I might do it like this. Once upon a time, my grandma gave me this beautiful mitten and I went out to play in the snow, but I got hot. So I took off my mitten and I put it in my pocket and it fell out of my pocket and onto the snow and I didn't see it. And while it was on the snow, a little rabbit crawled inside to get warm and toasty in my mitten. And then a penguin saw that mitten and crawled inside next to the rabbit. And then a, what else might be in this mitten? anything you want. So you imagine and draw another animal inside the mitten. Keep telling the story until you have all of the animals in the mitten. And then the rabbit started to get an itchy nose and she scrunched it up and choo, she sneezed. And all of the animals flew outside of the mitten. And just then I turned around, I looked down and I saw my mitten on the snow and I picked it up and I put my mitten 
back on my hand and I went home to show my grandma. So using a picture like this can help us remember the parts of a story as we tell that story. And it can also just be fun. So make sure if you're using markers that you have a thick piece of paper, as you can see, my marker kind of bleeds through from the other side. Um, so either thick paper or um, crayons are really good for this. And go ahead and make your beautiful drawing. Share your pictures with me. I would love to see them. And I hope you have fun with this project.